What's going on everybody this is Mehul and welcome to your 20th PHP tutorial in which we'll be looking at something called include once and require once. Now these two functions are just like the functions which we learned in the previous tutorial but the difference is that these two would include the file only once even if you are including the same file on the including page well that's weird so let's just take a look at an example and let's try to see what's happening so let's say I want to include this file.php here so, okay so I include file.php here so let's say just I just echo the name of the file here file.php and let's say I include another file inside file.php so let's say I include file2.php here and I include file2.php here as well so what's happening here is include this file2.php is included two times one by this main page and another by the file which is included on the main page so if I create a file2.php here file2.php and I just echo here file2.php then what happens is when I'll run this script here on the 20th page you see we got the output as file2.php file.php and file2.php I'll just give it a little indentation if that helps so you see that file2.php here it is file.php file2.php file.php and file2.php so you see that this file is included two times because if it wasn't then this wouldn't be outputted two times so this could happen if you are working on a large website because these errors are difficult to pick up so to fix this what we can make use of is include once now this include once what it would do is it would just include this file once no matter how many time you include it so <coughs> if I place include once here on the file2.php on the main page 20.php that what happens is whenever the script would run it would check whether this file2.php is already included or not and if it is included then it wouldn't include this again so if I reload this you see that the third one is now gone so this one performs a check whether this file is already included in the document or not so now what happens is even if I write it a lot of times then this code wouldn't run because the file2.php is already included but if I change each of this to include then what happens is this file would be included as many times as I am writing this include file2.php now just like this we have require once which would obviously produce a fatal error if the file is not found so I'll just write require for now and require here as well require here as well okay so here if I do like right now we get the three outputs file2.php file.php and file2.php but if I change it to require once then the third one would be gone and if I change it to let's say uh, an invalid file then you see that we got a warning and the fatal error and this code below require once won't even execute so this code won't run so if I reload this you see that I didn't got the echo below this so that's how require once and include once work and that's how they are different from require and include and I hope you learned something from this tutorial and if you did then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching